afternoon from day 342 of the Dallas Stampede of Speed. Today we're running the little car again in Scott Palmer's Nitro Side Show, and we're also going to make a few passes in Dad's 2010 Camaro. How you doing, Max? Pretty good. Here at Texas Motorplex. Looking forward to running the Fool's Errand with Scott Palmer. Should be an interesting event. Oh yeah, I love drag racing. Why do you ask? Going, yep. Okay, we're kind of in a mad rush as per usual to get up to the line. We got here a little bit late and uh, we needed to be up in the lanes like 10 minutes ago. I'm not even wearing a watch, I don't know why I did that. But there is a very pretty sunset. Check that out, dog. All right, here we go. Ninety-four point three. It's about time to go drag racing. Let's go. Okay, so there's a burnout competition bet going on for five hundred dollars here at Mr. Palmer's show. Dad's gonna go for it. Watch this. Uh, I know that there's a uh, there's a five hundred dollar burnout contest put up by Scott Palmer. Uh -huh. you know, Terry Haddock is next up in the game. Right? Like, he's so a like, you know, and it's like talking a little like you know my dad. You know my dad is gonna go get the money, right? And he thinks I'm not gonna come talk to him, but here I am. So you tell everybody, everybody what, what you just told me. me. Dad's the, the king, king of NHRA burnouts. He's gonna come blow everybody out of the water. Oh, I, I hope he does. I hope he does because I am a diehard Chevrolet fan, and this is the classic Chevrolet versus Ford, Vega versus Mustang. I'm all in on the Vega, so I'm with the kid over here. Watch this. Close matchup, came up on the short end, but wow, great, great run. Thank you. Well, Dad did do an amazing burnout, and I'm sure he'll do an even better one later. That's it, you got 100 more feet, that's all. That's, that's all, that was pretty special. Dad just did an awesome burnout. Uh, so did the Maha Express, the green Mustang that we were running. So we're not sure who actually won the burnout contest yet, but I'm sure Dad's gonna go up and blow it out of the water, so. So, that was awesome. Gotta go back and service it, like, really, really quick, so I'm probably not gonna get to film anything, because in, like, half an hour, we have to go up for a meter run, and we've got it. this car's the priority, so we've gotta make sure this car's done before we go up and do that. So, bust the move on, Jack. Oh, yeah. All right, it's time to go up and run. Alright, it's 
about time to do this. Huge shout out to Cameron for letting me borrow his helmet since it was in the trailer. Car next week, or okay. two weeks. So what I want them to, I want them to creep up, and I want them to roll in. You know what I mean? Give them a little longer instead of just throwing it. So he gets. We're, we're trying to get him. I want him to learn the process more than the. Gotcha. If that's cool with you. No, that's problem. I'll let Austin know. Okay, I'm tired of the cameras. So There's too much. Shrek goes worldwide. <laughs> Are you excited, Terry? I am very excited to watch my kid abuse my car. Wait, can't wait. Been waiting all day for this part. Love it. Hopefully he has fun. He's ready. He's getting his hat on. His diaper on. Dad's teaching me to drive so that when in three weeks we're ready to go for the nostalgia car, he's going to start teaching me all the staging and all the procedures that we need. That way, when it's time to go, I don't look like an idiot. What are you driving tonight? Uh, Dad's 2010 Camaro that's got a super awesome motor that's got a big Kenny Bell supercharger on it. All right, good luck. Thank you. All right, it's about time to do this. Dad's going to pull me in the water box, and he wants to make sure... I know what I'm doing driving. I'm going to have my camera up here on the windshield recording. I'm, I don't know about this one and Heather's gonna record for me. So I should have YouTube content, but that's not the point of this. I need to make sure I know how to drive so I don't look like an idiot in three weeks when it's time to drive the nostalgia car. These cars are funny with their big rims. It'll be interesting to see actually see one of them go. When, well, I'm going to take you around the water and then we're going to back up. And I have my GoPro on my lap so you can see my reaction when we're done. Dad's plan is he's going to guide me around the water. That way I don't have to do a burnout and beat up his car too much. All right, let's do this, bud. Let's get her done. Never give up. I am so excited for this. I haven't driven this car in two years and that was the last time I drag raced. So. I can't wait. Let's freaking go. To the mat with that. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little car though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Will my Camaro do that? Um, probably. <laughs> Yours might be faster. I haven't never really played with this. This car's capable a lot more than we do with it. We just, I don't like to abuse it. Yeah. I've never even taken it to the racetrack. You have. But what it is, is it lets you start to understand the process. Yeah. You're not going to learn all this in one day or one night. But the more familiar you are with what happens up there, the, the easier this becomes. Okay. That was awesome! That went really good. Video of, it. of course I did. Um, I'm going to go get everybody dinner and then I'll show you. Right. That was awesome. You got to come up for the next one, Mr. Bill. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I had to finish off, you know? Yeah. That was really awesome getting to drive the Camaro. We're trying to plan race week so that Heather, Dad, and Tyler and I can go and Tyler and I can race or Heather and I can race, but it will be a lot of fun. Now we've got to get the funny car ready to go up to the line. We just started it and got it ready to go. So let's go racing. Sitting up here, we're about to pull up because they just started Nitro, but super awesome side note, I'm gonna get a big Haddock Automotive sticker made to put on the back of this for Vegas. It's gonna be pretty cool. How you doing, Mr. Bill? I'm doing good, thank you. Nice shirt you got there. Well, oh, thanks very much. I'm, I think I'm as well dressed as you are. It's almost like they're the same shirt oh, or something. You've got the new boots. Yes, sir. Oh, all right. Giggity. Let's do this, dog. <laughs> Let's do this. Dad's gonna try and break the burnout record. He's third right now is what Joe Costello said. So 
He's got to go a little bit past half track. We're running up so that I can make another pass really quick with the Camaro. All right, we're up here in the lanes. It's about time to go. Dad and Heather just went up to see if they're ready for me. I'm going to get the helmet out and be ready to go. Amazing, it went faster. Yeah, I had a better look. Looks good from the back like that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that was awesome. It spun less off the line. Like the first time you could tell, like the tires spun a couple of times, that time it seemed to launch better. It's so much more boring from the outside know, than the inside. It doesn't look, look nearly as, look, look nearly as cool. Yeah, but it's so cool. Yeah. And we get back and find out the funny car threw a rod. Ah, uh, it's not good. That's not bueno with the funny car that it threw a rod. All right, I'm just getting down from finishing up upstairs, strapping down all the toolboxes. We're gonna get the golf cart and the funny car put up, and we're gonna go home because it's a long drive home. So. This video is gonna go up a day late because I'm, the video the day before this is taking longer to edit because I want it to be perfect. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things, and never give up.